All right, everybody, we're here for game over slash bad ending number two. And we've loaded chapter two with the same stuff as last time, low romance, high corruption. And once again, we must make our poor boy endure the bloodlust. So I assume he's just gonna go mad every single time. Well, let's get this party started. Oh no! Oh my boy! We get a picture for this one? Sochi. Okita, hang in there! He looked close to collapsing. I quickly got to my knees behind him and wrapped his chest with my arms. You're very brave to put yourself so close. Gah! Ah! It became difficult for Okita to draw breath as the pain stretched through every inch of his body. What could I possibly do for him, she wondered. I was helpless beside him, malcontent to wait idly by as I watched him scream bloody murder. I flinched from the howling bellow of his screams. If I had only given my blood, then he likely wouldn't have been in as much agony as he was. You could still do it! I... I will never go mad! I can't! He screamed through panted breaths. Okita! It felt as if someone was squeezing my lungs. I hugged his body close to me in a desperate fit. It was all I could do. You could give him blood. On this particular night, Okita's episode lasted well until sunrise. As soon as his seizure began to ease, Okita had passed out from exhaustion. I wondered to myself how much more pain he would have to endure from here. Quite a bit. We got more bad endings to do. Isn't there anything else I could do? Anything at all? Alright. Well, hello, everybody. You're here to visit. Um, okay. So now that that... I can't believe we got a picture for that. There's so many more pictures in this game. Um... Right. So, we got that done. Condo news, I guess, now. Yep, condo news. That's gonna be rough this time. I'm trying to remember what the first... I think he wanted to go and try and rescue him. And we said... Oh yeah, we said, I, I can't stop you. And he appreciated that last time, but we're not going to do that this time. We're going to do whatever the other option was. Okay, but first, Memoriesville. Oh, condo. Huh. Didn't even see you in present day tense in this route. I should see you in the next one with Toshi. I don't know if that'll make it easier or harder. Okay, so this time I'd say I don't want you to go. I understand where you're coming from, Okita, but to be honest with you, I don't want you to go. <sighs> right. Thought as much. Sorry about it. Okita said no more. It seemed that, no matter what I could have said to him, his heart was set on going. However, if you plan on setting out to find Kondo, please take me with you. My words took Okita by surprise, and his eyes widened at my suggestion. <laughs> what? Really? Isn't there something else you needed to do? I owe Kondo so much for showing me kindness under his watch, and aside from that, I can't leave you alone. I see. Thanks. Well, that was still kind of nice. Even if it wasn't exactly what he wanted to hear. Alright, Toshi's here to visit. I'm still not used to your short hair. Ah, and now it's... Ugh. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna remain beside Okita. Interesting. Okay. Guess it's kind of tough to put that decision on you right now, but... If you need something, reach Dr. Matsumoto. I don't think the Imperials will touch him. Okay. Thank you. Alright, is that it? That's it. Aw, Toshi. Such a beautiful man. I guess the ending for this one is when we run into Kazuma and Amagiri, right? Do I just not save him? 
Does he go crazy? And kill us again in front of Cosma? Maybe Cosma will avenge my death and won't know that I sullied myself with the water of life. <laughs> what an amazing turn that would be. <laughs> you killed my wife! On guard! Well, we'll see. That code is still fantastic. Alright. We're done. Okita was being pushed to his absolute limit. Ah! Suddenly, Okita halted his movement, letting out a heavy groan. Ah! Ah! Okita? I noticed his wide shoulder frame begin to convulse violently. Oh no. He has finally succumbed to his madness, eh? Cosmo's blade shined under the moonlight. W wait Please! Don't kill Okita! Can't you see? He is no longer the man you once knew. Even still, I beg of you! Whether or not Okita could safely retain his sanity was the least of my worries. Please! If Okita dies... I cannot bear to live another day! Cosmo was indifferent to my desperate pleas, and he puffed air from his lips as he stared down at me. Poof. Just then. Oh no. Aw, my poor boy. Gah! Okita's cry was so disturbingly harsh that it was hard to believe it was human. My heart shattered. I was incredulous to think that Okito could be bested in the one thing into which he had dedicated his entire life. I could only helplessly cover my eyes, but at the same time I couldn't peel my eyes off of him. After watching Cosma's murderous display, I only saw the gleam of his blood-red eyes peeking through the darkness. Oh. I barely had any chance to move out of the way. A blade gleamed ominously in the light of the moon, and it flashed blindingly before my eyes. <sighs> Kazuma, you could have at least saved me. Sheesh. I'm sorry, Okita. I wish I could have saved you. Now we're both gonna die here. <laughs> Kazuma just watched me die and didn't care. <laughs> he just puffed air in my face with like, like, you're dumb enough to tell me not to kill this guy. I'm not doing nothing for you. Blech. <laughs> oh, Cosmo. Uh, alright. Well, that was bad ending number two. Can't wait for bad ending number three where he kills us again. <laughs> See you there, guys.